Uh, hi everyone and welcome to a new tutorial by Studio IC. It has been a while since the last tutorial, but these days, especially this week, Adobe came up with a new piece of software, a new application that I uh, that I like a lot. So let's dive into this one right here, Adobe Experience Design CC. Click on it and you will get immediately a screen that gives you some choices and that is because we are looking at a beta version of this application no fancy adobe screen with great artwork from artists from all around the world on there it is just making a choice and that's all there is to it uh, i already prepped something as you can see here mustache ui which is a very very simple iphone 6 application that i created and let's dive in there immediately as you can see, from a user experience design perspective, this has nothing at all. Uh, it's not pixel perfect, I'm fully aware of that. It's just to explain to you what you can do with XD. And this is basically the interface of XD, and XD is a prototyping tool, which means that for applications, for example, for your mobile phone or other devices, doesn't really matter, you can create the complete flow of your application you can give it all the design elements that you like to and you can also give it to your client to see what he or she thinks about your application so far. Uh, which means that this application has two, basically two modes that you can work in. A design mode, as you can see right here, which gives you the opportunity to work with simple basic shapes, uh, a pen tool for example, uh, font and obviously squares, rectangles, circles and lines. And you got the prototyping mode, which is this one. And this one connects all the screens that you see here with each other depending on what you would like to do when you're developing this application. Uh, let me show you this first. As you can see, there's a little home button right here. So this is basically the starting screen of my application. And if I click on that, you will immediately see that there is this little blue line with this little arrow right here, like a sort of an anchor to the next screen, which basically means that if I click on this photo right here, I will hop over to that screen to the Anita screen. Uh, for everyone who thinks, well, what kind of application is this? Well, this is the application that I created for men who like women with a mustache. So if you are into a mustache and you are into women and you don't like Tinder, for example, or some other dating application, this is the way to go, obviously. And uh, to make sure that this prototype doesn't go out of hand, I just created two profiles, the Anita profile and the Cheryl profile. And uh, I just extended the Anita profile a little bit. You know, you can rate her right here and you can see some more information about Anita. Um, but, you know, I ran into a couple of problems trying to test stuff out and it didn't really worked the way I wanted it and all kinds of things like that so the basic stuff that you have to deal with when you were prototyping so if I click on this screen for Anita for example you can see that it's linked to the Anita profile description page or screen with the photo and you can see that the rating dot right here is linked to the Cheryl profile which doesn't make any sense at all when it comes to prototyping, user interface design and user experience. I know, but I just created it for this example. Now back to the design mode. As you can see, you get all these tools and all these settings right here on the right side. But the most important thing for this tool is that you are able to test your tool out by previewing it. Now, that's something you do with this little button right here. As you can see, it looks like a play button. And if you click on it, you get a pop-up screen with the screen that you selected. And in this case, I selected the Anita screen. It would be handy if I'm just starting off with the home screen. So let's click away this preview, go back to prototype, select the home page or the home screen, I have to say, and go to preview. And there we are. And as you can see, I can mouse over everything. But as soon as I mouse over this photo, which is connected to the Anita screen, I get this little hand. And I click on it, there's the Anita screen, and now I can see that if I click on this photo, I can get on with the Anita screen. And if I click here, there's nothing going on there, and except for this one here, and if I click on that one, I get to the Cheryl screen. And now I like to go back to the home screen, where can I do that? Well, there's basically one option here, and that's the white dot right here. 
and it's back to the home screen. So let's click on this one, click on the photo of Anita, and if I click on that one, I get to all the information I like to know about Anita. That's kind of cool. The only thing I like to see now is her mustache. Well, it doesn't work yet, because I didn't create that screen already. So let's let's do it. Let, let's just create the mustache screen for this example. Click this away and see what we can do. We go back to the design mode and select the latest screen, copy and paste, and there we have a new screen. An exact copy of the screen that we just copied, basically. Get rid of all the text here and the photo doesn't make any sense at all because we want a close-up of that mustache, the Anita mustache. As you can see right here, I created a little bit of a filter, a circle with an opacity of 39%. Which, you, which I used as a photo filter, so I can get rid of that one. I don't want to use that photo, I want to use a new photo, more of a close-up, so let's get rid of that one. And there's another thing, if I'm here and I've seen that mustache, the only thing I want to do is go back. So let's change the text on the button also in back. There we go. And let's import a photo. See what we got right here mustache visuals let's do this one right here import there we go nice little close-up picture of Anita with that great mustache of hers so let's scale it up a little bit make it a little bit smaller put it in the center of our application screen and now the only thing we need to do is get that round circle that circle around that photo or basically the circle with the photo in there how do we do that? Well, we need to create a mask. And if you are familiar with applications from Adobe, you know that ma creating masks is something that's not really a big issue. So let's select the ellipse tool, a circle, and hold down shift to get ourselves the perfect circle. Put it in there and back to the arrow. Give it the right position, the position that we like to have, and select the photo and the ellipse and go to objects and mask with shape. Look at that, boom, we have this photo in a nice ellipse form on our screen. Now, if we wanna make the photo bigger, double click on it and just scale it up, see if we can position it in the right way and if we click next to the photo, it is in that circle. That's quite kind of cool. The only thing I need is that filter again. So let's select that filter from another screen and copy and paste it. As you can see, it stays exactly in position. Put it on this photo, hold on shift to keep it in the exact circle shape. This should be it. A little bit larger for this purpose. Here we go. Nice, I think we've done it. This is the screen that was missing in the profile. This is the screen that we all wanted to see when it comes to the mustache of Anita. So uh, the screen is basically just a screen and it's not, it doesn't have any connection with the application at all. As you can see, this is Anita and there's nothing going on there. So we need to go and make sure that this screen is connected. Let's click on the back button right here and you can see that little arrow right there and you can hold down your key and drag out this little anchor with the arrow, attach it to the screen, and you get this little pop-up sa saying, well, you know, what is the way you like to animate this in? Is it from the left to the right, or from the right to the left? It's from the left, well, let's, let's do it from the right side. I'm not quite sure what it means. Ease out, ease in, okay. I'm not gonna get into that right now. These are all animation techniques, and the duration is 0 0.2 seconds which is fine with me. Application, obviously, iPhone 6, no problem. So we can go back and we need to go forward too. So let's pick this one also and put them in there. And slide from the left. I think this from the left, I'm not sure. Well, we see, we check this out when we're in preview mode. So back to home, um, preview. Click on it, click on Anita. Uh, yeah, we like to see her mustache. Okay, that's kind of cool. And we have to go back and we have to go up. Yeah, it all works fine. Up, down, see the mustache and back. So we just added a new screen to our ap application and we connected it to all the other screens. So we have this screen in our flow. Now, there's one little thing that I really like to show you. Now, 
we go to the preview button right here and we click on it and as you probably have noticed before on the top right corner is the little record button which means you can record everything the user does in this screen click on record and you can see there's this little counter right here tac 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 0405 so here we go I am a user right now and this is no longer my application but it's the application that I've never seen before and I click on this girl and I see okay nice nice yeah I need it I want to continue where can I click I want to click here no there's nothing going on there I'm not quite sure is this probably something that this little dot right here Okay, yeah, yeah. well, I get a new profile. I thought this dot was for rating, but, but it doesn't work like that. Let's click on this. Hey, it doesn't work. Where is on this dot, probably? Oh, wait a second. I'm back at the home screen again. Let's click on this again. I, I do like Anita, so let's click on Anita. Yeah, that works. Okay, I get information on Anita. Let's see. Horseback riding, hamburgers, mustache. I kind of like this girl. I want to see her mustache. Sure. Okay, that's kind of disappointing. Looks like an inflatable mustache to me. Let's go back. Yeah, I've seen enough for Manita. I want to go to the home page. It doesn't work for me at all. Where is that button to go back to the home page? Let's click on this dot here. Oh yeah, there's Cheryl again. Oh yeah, now I know. I've been there before. Let's click on this one. Oh man, I'm back at the home page. It's kind of a nice tool, but it doesn't work for me at all. Stop recording and just store your recording in the user test mustache user test version 1 and there you have it you have your first user test so this tool adobe xd allows you to test your application or your prototype with users and that is kind of cool and what's the result of this user test well let's check it out if you can see this is user tests the folder user test and if I click on it you will see that it is an MOV file so if I click on this one here I can open it up in QuickTime and there I go this is the user test it took a while for me to understand what I was doing and there we go so if you have for example 20 of these movies 20 of users that tested your application you will get a good idea on where your application is not really serving the user the benefits that you are probably looking for and you will get a good idea what kind of what parts of your application will work exactly the way you expected it to work that's the great thing about XD creating prototypes fast testing prototypes and storing all the results very very nice and neat as an MOV file. There's so much more to say about this application and we will do this in a later uh, later tutorial probably for this time and right now I want to say thank you very much and see you next time.